Today's lesson is about making your own ornamentation. What's happened is we're either locked in or we don't have enough money at the moment, guys. So it is a good idea to learn to make your own ornamentation and I'm going to show you some tips today to help you because it's a really good idea because later on in level three, you're doing creative hair ups and you might have to make your own um, ornamentation. It could also be for you in your set and dress to add in competitions. And also, if you have an idea how you can make ornamentation, if you're doing a bridal party and you're presented with something and it doesn't quite work in the hair, you can adapt and modify it to make it work if you have an idea of base ideas how to fix things. So generally when I actually go to do a bridal party, I have pliers with me, I have wires with me, and I have all sorts of different things in case I need them to help me with the ornamentation, okay, if you haven't done a run through with that first. You can put paper clips in here, do you see, and glue things on the paper clips. They don't have to be plastic, but if you have the metal ones, open them up, you've got wire. Okay, so it's thinking outside the box, box and knives. And you're probably, anyone any idea what you could do with those? No idea. No idea. Right, these are very, very light. So if you've got a roll, a French roll, this can slide down in it and you can be decorating on the top of this. I've got bits and pieces of cardboard that I've got with things on them ready that you can glue on. But if you haven't got these, you can glue on cardboard. Boxes you've got round, cereal boxes that are finished with, all your Amazon deliveries that you're all living on at the moment, and use those boxes. You can cut out pieces from magazines, flowers, even from bits of old material. So you might have an old dress or an old pair of trousers or a pair of shorts or an old pair of bathers that you're throwing out. See if there's things on it you can cut out, like this has got a nice flower, you might want to cut that out and glue it to cardboard. Okay, we're going to move on to demonstrate how to make the comb. So, as you know, this is getting recorded, guys, and getting done in segments. Okay, you could use a cup for the circular shape. You put it on your piece of cardboard, as we've previously discussed. Draw your circle. Make a center point in the circle, like so. Perfect circle. I did that freehand, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Pair of scissors. So we're going to cut out the circular shape. Now, you can need a stapler, glue, sellotape will work. Stapler's quite good. Fold it in half. And you iron the seam if you want a crisp seam. It's easier to sew. There's not much sewing on this. It's about gathering it. So, first off, you thread a needle and you're going to go in and out your material. So you're going to take your needle down, through, back up, through, down, through, back up, through. I'm going to show you the distance apart in a minute. So I'm going to pull this through. So you're going probably about a centimetre or half a centimetre up and down, up and down. Now, your flower size depends on how well you want to do this. It, you could have more and more material, you could set more and more flowers inside each other. Did you learn much from today, guys? Yes. Yeah. Do you think now you'll be a bit more creative yeah. with making your own stuff? Is there anything you guys yeah. have thought of that I haven't thought of that you could use from around the house or outside? It's a dog. 
probably got some more stuff to the house. Yeah. So this is where you're going to do what? You're going to scavenge. You're going to have your own scavenger hunt around the house. Or you can go out foraging outside. And let's see how... I'm not encouraging you to steal flowers out of people's gardens, okay? <laughs> I'm not advocating that at all. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you guys all next week with your ornamentation, okay?